Ooh, niggas thought shit was sweet, huh? Niggas thought shit was sweet. Man, I don't about to deal with these pussy ass niggas. Hey, mom, where my gun at? You want the Glock here or the Draco? I'm talking about the Draco. Okay. What my motherfucker talking about, nigga? You see it right here, nigga? This a big Draco, nigga. Motherfucker don't even fit in my pocket. I slay niggas for real. Sound in the melody, we came into Omnisphere and chose this unstable love organ preset from the I don't fucking know section. The only thing we did to that sound was EQ, take out the highs, take out the lows, don't do nothing fucking else to it. Oh, reverb, RC. I'm not gonna deal with this bullshit asking all these dumbass questions. It is some dumbass questions, and you a dumbass nigga, so take your ass to the back and shut the fuck up. That is literally the entire melody for the whole beat. There's only one fucking melody? What about this switch -o? What about- Shut your dumb ass up, nigga. Like, I'm getting sick and tired of all these niggas. So after the melody was completed, it's time to get these bitches to shake their fucking ass. How do we do that? Say it with me. Add the 808. What did we add after the 808? I'll give you a little hint. Anytime you see a cute little dog just sitting in the grass minding its own business, what do you do? Fucking kick it. That's what we did. We just added this simple kick. One thing I want y'all to notice with the kick pattern is right here, it's actually on A sharp instead of C. It just gives the whole beat like a darker sound. After fucking that dog up worse than Mike Vick, we just added this little snare pattern. I felt like the first snare wasn't hitting hard enough, so all I did was I layered a second snare over top of it, and now that motherfucker hitting harder than Rob Gronkowski when he see a black cornerback make an interception. <laughs> After adding those two snares, I just added this cash register sound because sometimes I like to pretend that I'm not a broke ass nigga with no bitches, no drip, no money. Now that we got the asses bouncing, it's time to get them titties jiggling and jangling in my face, and the only way we do that is by adding these hi hats. After the hi-hats, we just added a simple little accent snare. After that accent snare, we added another accent snare. After those accent snares, I just came in and I added another hi-hat pattern just to, you know, create a little bounce, a little talk amongst the hi-hats. The only thing we did to those hi-hats was we added these little reverbs right here and right here because I don't actually fucking know what I'm doing. After the second hi-hat, I just added this subwoofer feedback texture. This kind of just creates that little high-end frequency sound that Ice Twat has in a lot of his beats. The only thing we did to that texture was we just EQ'd it and brought out some of the highs like I just fucking said. Um, then we came over to this little compressor right down here and we just turned on this little sidechain feature and sidechained it to the 808. What this is doing is it's making the texture just cut out anytime the 808 hits. I don't know how to describe it. I also don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Last but not least, I just added this motherfucking bomb because I like blowing niggas up. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you make an icy twat type beat. There's not much to it. It's really more about sound selection and, you know, critical choices in your production rather than making a whole bunch of melodies and stacking them on top of each other like you're fucking Beethoven or some shit. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. That will get me up out these streets, and that's what I'm really trying to accomplish right here is get up out the streets, stop sucking homeless, dig as much as I like doing it. I have to stop um, and feed my family. But um, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.